So I did over $147,000 my first three months on Amazon. And what's crazy about AJ's story is he did over $100,000 of those sales on Amazon and over $40,000 on his own website. And I've seen your channel before and your subscribers know that's just revenue, that's not profit. There were actually a lot of expenses, in fact, a lot more expenses than I was expecting when starting this business. And the first cost that he had when selling on Amazon was the cost of actually buying the products that he was going to sell on Amazon. How much did that cost you? So the cost to manufacture and ship the products that I sold on Amazon was over $34,000. There's also a flat 15% fee if you wanna sell on the Amazon platform. How much did you spend on the Amazon referral fee? Over $16,000. There's also another fee, which is called the FBA fee. This is a fulfillment fee that every time you sell a product, Amazon picks, packs, and ships out the product for you. And this includes the postage and handling. How much did you spend on this fee? That was over $15,000. There's also just other fees to sell on Amazon, things like storage fees, receiving fees, and other little small fees. How much did you spend in those other fees? $3,000. On top of that, AJ did another almost $40,000 in revenue on his own website. So in total, in your first three months selling this product, how much money did you make in profit? So here's the thing, before starting this business, I'd been a bartender for 10 years. I lost my job during the pandemic and I had to find another way to replace my income. And in my first three months of starting an Amazon business, I managed to profit over $50,000. That's nearly as much money as I made as a full-time bartender. In a year, in a year you would make that much money, but yeah. you did that in three months selling this product on Amazon. And AJ and I are gonna show you step-by-step -step how he created his business, how much it cost him to start the business, and the three big mistakes he made, including one mistake that cost him over a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> so make sure to smash the like button because we wanna get this video out to as many people as possible because AJ's story is super inspirational. So how did you hear about Amazon? So after I lost my job as a bartender, I filled out my resume, I did a lot of job interviews, but there just was nothing out there. And I was struggling for months. I had very little money to my name and I started searching how to make money online. And that's when I found Amazon as a real legit business model. And for those that don't know, Amazon FBA stands for Fulfilled by Amazon. And it's a way for you to sell products on Amazon's website. And Amazon is a $1.6 trillion business, but two thirds of all the sales that happen on Amazon are from third party sellers. That's people like you, me, and AJ selling products on Amazon. And over 200,000 people per year make over a hundred thousand dollars selling products on Amazon. And once I learned about Amazon, I was excited to start, but I had no idea how to start or how much money it would cost. So I went to YouTube to learn a little bit more and eventually found your channel and then even joined your program. And for those that don't know me, my name is Travis Marziani. I've been a full-time e-commerce entrepreneur for nine years. I've been selling on Amazon for six years. I even had one product that's done over a million dollars in sales, about $400,000 in profit. And recently I've been partnering with a lot of students like AJ to start Amazon businesses. And I found the secret to making money with Amazon is to sell a passion product. This is what I did. This is what AJ did. And one of the best things about it is how much it costs to start selling a passion product on Amazon. So how much did it cost you to start selling your product on Amazon? I actually used a hack that allowed me to pay for all of my startup costs, which I'm sure we'll talk about in a minute, but technically I spent $0 to start. And this is a genius hack, even if you don't have any money on how you can start an Amazon business. But keep in mind, it still costs money to start an Amazon business. So we're gonna go over all the different expenses AJ was just able to get all that paid for by other people. So the first cost you had to start this business was the prototype. How much did that cost? That was free. I literally took blank uh, kind of flashcards and a Sharpie, and I just started drawing them myself. Then the next cost you had was actually getting a sample from the manufacturer. How much did that cost? Yeah, so what they did is they sent me what's called a dummy sample. It's where it's a blank box and a blank set of flashcards. And that was also free, but I did have to pay to get it shipped to my house, which was around $50. And I know you tried to design this product yourself, but instead we eventually ended up hiring a designer. How much did that cost? The full design was $3,500. However, the designer we were working with we were able to get a logo and a few samples for far less than that, which was enough to actually go on this Indiegogo platform where we can raise the rest of the money. And he ended up raising over $4,500 in his first 30 days, which was enough money to cover the rest of the design costs. After that, you took those designs, sent it to your manufacturer, 
and got a printed sample so you could see what it looks like. How much mm -hmm. did that cost? That was $290. And then you took that sample, showed it off on TikTok, and ended up raising another $22,000 for your Indiegogo in one day. How did you do this? So one thing that a lot of people don't know is from the very beginning, I was actually building social media accounts like TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube because I had no idea what I was doing. You were so brand new to social media. I was media. brand new. I had zero followers. I didn't even know how to use TikTok. And the whole time through this whole process, I was building up an audience. They wanted to know what I was working on. And when I finally had a sample, they were all behind me. And AJ took that money, ended up paying for his entire production run, which cost over $9,000. And what's cool is we we're originally gonna go for a smaller order around 500 units, but because we raised all this money, we we're able to do 1,500 units, which even got me a better price. Because if you do only 500 units, it was gonna cost around $10, $11 per unit, but by doing 1,500 units, it ended up going down to around $6 per unit. And people always ask me, how do you find a manufacturer overseas or in the United States? And I've done a number of tutorials on this topic, but the short answer is you can go to sites like alibaba.com, type in the type of product that you wanna purchase and just click contact the manufacturer and then let them know what you're looking for in your final product. And after you get your product manufactured, you have to get it shipped over from China into the United States and eventually into an Amazon warehouse. And this leads into the first of the three big mistakes that AJ made. So how much did it cost you to ship your product from China to the United States? Well, we actually did a split shipment. We did an air shipment, which cost around $4,200. And then we did a sea shipment, which cost $2,600. We did the air shipment because we really wanted to get our backers on Indiegogo, the product as fast as possible. And in hindsight, we really didn't have to do that. It was double the money, not to mention a lot of boxes that showed up were damaged. And it's important to note that air shipping is gonna be a lot faster, but it's going to be a lot more expensive, where sea shipping is gonna take a lot longer, but it's gonna be a lot cheaper to ship your products by sea. And that was a big mistake because there were a lot of other additional costs, like for instance, I had to get a trademark, which cost $225. So it would have cost you over $20,000 to start this business, but by launching on Indiegogo, you were able to get all your startup costs paid for. But keep in mind that if AJ would have done a smaller first production run and hired a cheaper designer, he probably could have started this business for around $10,000, which is still a lot of money. I have other students I've worked with like Mina and Steven who started their business for around $1,500. So don't feel like you need tens of thousands of dollars to start an Amazon business. Let's talk about your first day selling this product on Amazon, share all the numbers, and also talk about your second big mistake. So after I sent out all the pre-orders that we did on Indiegogo, I had around 200 units left to send into Amazon and I was so excited. And of course, I was still posting this whole journey on TikTok. And I finally let my TikTok audience know that we're live on Amazon and it went ultra viral. I ended up selling out all of my inventory in two hours. And not knowing what to do, I redirected them to Indiegogo and we finished the day with over $54,000 in sales. So we did over $5,000 on Amazon, $2,000 in profit in just two hours, another $50,000 on Indiegogo. But that leads into the second big mistake, which was running out of inventory on Amazon. And eventually you did get inventory back in stock on Amazon. You were able to relaunch and have your first full month selling on Amazon. How did that go? Uh, pretty good. Luckily, when there was a demand, I was able to capture some emails and that led to pretty good sales. So the first month went really well. I managed to do over $54,000 in revenue. And of course, after you subtract the product costs, all the different Amazon FBA fees and everything else, how much in profit did you actually do? A little over $20,000. In one month selling this product just on Amazon, that's not even including your own website. Then in the second month of selling this product on Amazon, how did that go? Really good. We did run out of inventory again for two weeks, but we still managed to do over $22,000 in revenue. Which led to over $7,000 in profit, even though you were out of stock for two weeks. Then again, this leads into the third month, and tell me about the third month numbers. Third month was really good. I think the inventory, running out of inventory, bled into that third month a little bit but obviously much higher numbers at over $31,000. And that leads to over $11,000 in profit. Again, this is just on Amazon. And what's really cool is you did another $38,000 in revenue on your own website, another over $10,000 in profit. Is there a reason that you also sold this on your own website? Yeah, being a passion product where I'm sharing on social media, you know, someone on TikTok, they could be anywhere in the world. And I'm on Amazon USA, so by having them go to my website and order a product, I can ship to customers all around the world 
And that's been roughly 20% of my sales. And this is one of the big benefits of selling a passion product. Because it is a unique product that AJ is actually passionate about, people are willing to go to his website to buy the product. Versus if you try to sell a generic private label product, which is what most people are doing on Amazon, you can only sell that product on Amazon. People aren't gonna to go to your website to buy this product. And this leads into the biggest mistake that AJ made with his Amazon business. And this is the most common mistake I see all beginner Amazon sellers making. And what was that mistake? It's just not starting sooner. I was scared because I didn't have a lot of money to invest in a business. So I really got stuck in analysis paralysis, thinking of any way I could really save a penny. And really I kind of hurt myself in the end because if I just would have moved forward and did exactly what I did, I would have been making money a lot sooner. Every single month, you're not starting your Amazon business. You're losing out on profit. So every month earlier, AJ would have started his business. It would have been another 10, $20,000 in profit. So here's the key, get started today. AJ and I did a complete step-by-step -step tutorial over on his YouTube channel that you can get for free just by clicking right here. So click on this video. We'll see you in the next video. And I hope to see you getting started on your Amazon business soon.